In this video, I'm going to show how we can set up a five star rating scale within Moodle and then use it in peer review type activities. So I'll show you an example of it in action first and then we'll go through how we actually set it up. So in this case, I've got a forum and I've set this up so that students can rate each other's posts with a scale of naught to five stars and then it will show the student the average number of ratings for their particular post. So when I go into it as the teacher, I can see the different posts that have been made. And when I go into a particular post, I can see that this particular one, there's been one post. That's what the one in brackets is. Uh, sorry, one rating. And the average is one star out of five. As the teacher, if I actually click on that, it will actually tell me who has done the rating. So I can see which student has actually um, applied that rating. The students themselves won't see each other who has done it. So it's anonymous from the student's perspective. So this is me into the same post as the student. So that student, they can see that their post has been rated one star out of five and there's been one post. I'll come in as a different student. Now this student hasn't as yet rated the post. So all they would do is when they come to this screen here, let's say they think it's a better post and they go for four. It will now apply that rating to it. I'll just go back to the first student, refresh, and you'll see that their rating has now jumped up from one to three because it's taking the average of the two and it has to round it, which is why it's given it three. So they can see that there's been two ratings and the average rating is three stars out of five. So the way that we do this, first of all, we have to create our stars. Now, what I've done to do this is I've got uh, I've added a page into my Moodle. Now, you can add this any way you like. All you need to do is get a list of five empty stars, then one full and four empty, two, four, three empty, etc. until you've got the different combinations that you need. Now, if I go into edit settings, you can have a look within the symbols option or the special characters and you'll notice that there are no stars appearing there. So what we have to do is we have to find them from a different source. Now what I've done is I've done a search on Google and I found this page called unicode-table.com and it gives me a whole load of Unicode characters and in the top here there's a whole section for stars. So if I click on stars it shows me all the different stars that I might want to use. Now, in fact, I just want these first two. I want that one as the white star and then that one as the black star. So they're the two stars I'm going to use. So I click on one and it's dead easy on this page. All I have to do is copy, come back into my page and then I just paste and it gives me one star. And then obviously if I wanted five stars, I just have to paste five times. I'm then going to go back and this time I want the black star. I'm going to copy. I then paste. And then all I would need to do is copy the four white ones from earlier and paste them to get the uh, stars that I need. And then you just have to build up your, in this case, there are six options which I've listed there. Now, when we come to add the scale into uh, the system, which we'll do in a second, we have to actually list it. Uh, you, you list all of the possible items that you want to appear and they are comma separated with no spaces. So that there is the string of items that I need. So it's basically all of those above put into a string single line with a comma in between each. And the key thing with a scale in Moodle is you always have to start with kind of like the lowest value and end with the highest value. So in my case, five empty stars is the lowest score five full stars is the highest score. So it has to be in that particular order. It's a mistake that a lot of people make when they set scales up is they do it in the wrong order. They'll put distinction first, then merit, then pass. It needs to be the other way around. It needs to be pass, then merit, then distinction. So I'm going to copy that. I'm then going to go into site administration. So only people with site administration can do this. And if you, if you don't have that, you need to speak to whoever does have it so that they can set it up for you. And then we need to go to grades, scales. And it will then show you a list of the scales. Now, I've already got my five star scale set up, but 
I will add a new scale just to go through the process again with you. So you would give it a name. In the second box where it says scale, this is where you have to add in the list, which as I mentioned earlier is comma separated and going from lowest to highest. You could put a description in, which is only for your internal benefit, so you know what it's used for, and then you would save changes. Now I'm not actually going to save changes because I've already got it saved and set up. So I'm going to go back to my course and we're going to add a forum similar to the one that I've got uh, that I showed you earlier. So I'm going to turn editing on. We're going to add a forum. So I'm just going to give it a, a title. You would put the description in. And obviously it'd be more descriptive than what I've put there. So I'm just going to expand all and just go through the key settings that we want. Now you have the standard settings that you would normally have for a forum, which you can set as you like. We, where it says ratings, at the moment it's set to no ratings. So we're now going to work out what do we want to use. Now you could use the maximum rating. So they will, the student will see whatever was the highest rating, but I'm going to go for average of ratings. I then have to specify which scale we're using. So we choose scale and then you choose the scale from your list. Now, in my case, it's already defaulted to five star scale. Um, if you wanted to, you could actually specify a pass scale. So in my case, with a five star scale, no stars is actually one. One star is actually two. And it goes through and then five stars would actually be six because it's the sixth item in the scale because the first one is basically no stars is, is valued as one so if i thought well okay i want the student to pass if they get an average score of four or five then the pass score would actually be five and then i'll scroll down so completion tracking show activity is complete when conditions are met we're going to change it so that it needs to be a rating I don't need to track that they viewed it because they have to do that anyway. They're going to have to uh, post one or so discussions and they need to get the rating grade that I've specified here. That's what that is set to. And then we save and display. Now there's one thing that we have to do for this to work properly and that's we need to check the permissions because the permissions may not be set to allow students to rate each other's work. The default for most cases will be that teachers can but students can't but I'm going to change it so that students can. So once I've created the item, I need to then go to the settings and then permissions. In my case, in, in this theme, it appears as a cog. In other themes, it might appear in a block on the right or left hand side, but I want permissions. And then we scroll down. Now there's a few things about ratings at the top. What we want is where it says activity forum, And then there's an option for rate posts and you can see here it's already specified which roles can rate posts but students are not listed so i need to add student so i've now added students as having the ability to rate a post and that's it that's all we have to do now once you've created your this this page with the scales in you don't need that in the future. You can actually just delete it or you can leave it in a sandpit course or somewhere out of sight. I only needed it so that I could create the items in order to bring them in. So rating scales, quite a clever little technique, quite a good way of getting peer review into a course if it's appropriate. And it doesn't just have to be on forum activities. You could apply it to other things like database activities, glossary activities. There's quite a few activity types which will allow for students to uh, rate and it's the same principle you just create the activity go into the rating options and then if necessary look at the permissions and just check can a student rate or not and if they can't then you need to turn it on so that they can for that particular activity i'm dave ford if you wish to get in touch then please look at my contact details on the screen i'm based in the uk but i work with organizations all over the globe providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.